Yo, today we are making Afro House with vocals, a genre that's blowing up at the moment, so let's make it. Let's get started right away. The BPM is set to 120, and we're gonna start with the drums. So the drums are important because they set up the whole rhythm for the song. First, let's start with a simple kick, just like so. But mine is too snappy, so I'm actually gonna click on it, go right here and lower this. Make sure this is set up to fast low pass, and as you lower it, you're gonna get a more of a deep kick. So I prefer a deep kick, so that's what we're gonna do. Next, the most important thing in Afro House is the percussions that set the rhythm. So I have this one, and the rhythm looks like this. So with the kick, but I also decided to support it with some hi-hats sort of loose hi-hats and some percussion, just sort of offbeat. All together it sounds like this. The Afro House rhythm is coming together. Now once it's in the playlist, I also supported it with some top loops. I have this one and this one. That just introduces more variety. Another tip I can give you is make sure your percussion are panned. So as you can see, I pan them from left to right using this note pen. So it sounds a bit more natural. Make sure to pan your percussions and hi-hats. It makes for a better result. So that's the drums ready to go. And if you want to go the extra mile, you can also make a variation of these drums like I have here. This is the more subtle version where I mostly use the hi-hats. And added some percussions in here. So then we have these drums, which are more calm, and then these ones, which are all the way up. So we can have two variations, so we can switch it up in the song a little bit more. Now the next thing I'm gonna add is the vocal, because we cannot really move forwards without the vocal, because we need to know what chords we're gonna use with the vocal. So here is my vocal, I have it from Tragalip, but you can find yours anywhere that has acapellas or remix stems or whatever you want. Of course the vocal is optional, but it's nice to have. So here is how it sounds. <laughs> So make sure your vocal is positioned correctly so we can play it along with the song. Now, for the effects on the vocal, I have quite a few. So I have some EQ to lower the mid frequencies. I have sound goodizer to sort of boost the high frequencies. I have some reverb and a kickstart plugin, which sort of side chains the vocal and then some more EQ as well. So the most important one is the kickstart plugin, which is gonna side chain the vocal. So it's sort of pumping throughout the whole song and it leaves more space for the drums to come through. You can also use gross beat, go to repeater, and choose your sidechain A or sidechain B preset. I just prefer Kickstarter plugin, but it doesn't really matter. So it sounds like this. Not much to it yet, so let's make the chords. So for the chords, I went with a piano sound. So for the piano, I'm using my own plugin, Cloud Piano. You can grab it, link is below. It's really affordable and it has some realistic piano sounds, but also more out of this world piano sounds. So I'm using this Sky preset with the Galaxy layer, meaning each time you hold a note, there's gonna be some pads in it as well. So whenever you are making chords, make sure to play it along with the vocal. But when it comes to the chords, you wanna keep it simple, but I really like to put in these notes right here. So it sounds like this. So as you can hear, we have the piano with some pads in the background and I'm always putting this note before the chord change. We also have some delay on the piano, but here is how it sounds with the vocal. But now let's move on to the bass. For the bass, I'm using contact using this dub bass, which will play the low frequencies. Sounds like this. So 
so it follows the notes from the chords, but I decided to skip the first beat each time. To make it a bit more interesting, I also layered the bass with another sound, which is this analog sound. Of course, this sound has no low frequencies, so just make sure to remove any low frequencies from this sound, so only the sub bass is playing the low frequencies, and then we have this. All together. So we are moving forwards. So this is our intro. This is sort of to introduce the drums and then we can have some build up. So for the build up, we're gonna turn off the vocal and the bass, which is gonna have this. And we're gonna add one more sound, which is this little block. And all of the samples and some of the synths that I'm using here are from my sample packs staple sounds, where you only pay once and you get access to all of our sample packs, which is a huge library of sounds. And not only that, once you are a member, you'll be getting all of our new sample packs completely for free, no monthly payments. So check it out, link is below, it's on a summer sale right now, ending soon, so grab it while you can. So we have this plug. And also we layer in this plug. And I created this melody, which is sort of offbeat. Similar to the percussions, and it sounds like this in the build up. But we want to put some effects on it, so I used Neon Glow to sort of wash it out. So you have this reverb and delay, and it slowly washes out. So that's really nice in the build up. I also added this sound, which is a little melody. For some extra atmosphere. Of course, some down sweeps and up sweeps to support the whole thing. Then the build up sounds like this. Then you can hear the fill at the end and the vocal is coming in as well. So then we can move on to the drop. So for the drop we have what we had before, the drums, the piano, the bass, the vocal, some crashes, and some more hi-hats and cymbals. So basically just the drums, the piano, the bass and the vocal. So that's the first part of the drop. Now in the second part of the drop we introduce more sounds. So then we have the more aggressive drums which I showed you at the beginning. We have the piano, but we support the piano with this sound as well, the same chords, this preset from my sample pack. Just a really nice calm pad. We also bring back the offbeat plug. And once more we support the piano melody, which is sort of on top of the chords, with this sound from Analog Lab. Really reverby piano. So we just play the higher notes from the chords. And we have tons of reverb here to support it. Again, using reverb to sort of create this atmosphere. So 
all the layers are coming in together. And we have some more sounds like this one, which is a really cool one. And I just created this rhythm right here. Again, the high notes from the chords, but they are going in this rhythm. It's nothing huge, but when all the layers come together, it sort of creates this full sound. So we have that. And one more sound right here is these pads from Nexus. They play the chords, but again, a little bit of beat like so. And once again, they sort of sprinkle in some more atmospheric sounds into the whole mix. So all together, it sounds like this. And that is mostly it for the sounds. Here is how I did the arrangement. In the beginning, we actually have this melody that I showed you, along with the piano and the vocal. Then we have this sort of a introduction of the drums. Just for a little bit. Then we have the build up. And then the drop. First one and the second one without any vocals. But all the sounds playing together. And then we sort of just repeat it again the build up, the drop, the second drop, and then it sort of plays out. Calms down once again. So that's pretty much it. That's how we make Afro House. Now let's have a listen to the finished result. Also, don't forget to check out my sample packs and the Cloud Piano plugin. If you want sounds like these, they are gonna be worth it. But without further ado, let's have a listen to the finished result. Enjoy! Yeah. 